How you doing guys? Welcome back to the channel in another video. In this video today, we are doing three separate balloon pour paintings, experimenting with using no special pouring medium at all. I wanna be able to show you that any artist, regardless of their experience, can make some gorgeous balloon pour paintings. So with that, let's get into it. This bloom pour painting is all artist loft pre-mixed paint straight out of the bottle. No elaborate mixing of a pouring medium with this one. There are no additives here at all, and the only paint here that isn't pre-mixed is the cell activator. This is mixed to the same recipe as the card above and in the description. I always thought that you needed a special made pouring medium to make blooms, but all you really need is a cell activator, and that's awesome news. It lowers the barrier to entry for everyone and it's cheaper and easier to get the results that you want. This bloom was with Floetrol mixed at a 2 to 1 ratio. I picked colors that I thought would provide a stark contrast with the cell activator to see if there was any blending or breaking of the lacing. Now I know that Floetrol aids in cell creation, but I didn't know it would be this strong. As the tile was spun, it thinned the paints on top and really allowed that white to peek through. I like it a lot. It's a different look, but I still like it. This last bloom was all mica powders mixed with the Liquitex Basics pouring medium, and the base coat was that Artist Loft Premix White. Now micas tend to blend with cell activators and bleed a bit from my experience, but this one interacted with the Artist Loft paint in an unexpected way. It started like a purling effect that amplified further through the drying process. Again, it was a strange effect, but I don't dislike it. It is interesting and unique, and to me that's beautiful. If you want to watch another video just like this, click the screen right now and I'll see you there.